crap. What's up guys and welcome back to the hack spot today we're back with another fire upload so many of you guys were asking me to make a video on houdini the new version i wasn't originally going to but here we are a little bit late but let's do it so houdini is so cool guys you can do so much with it you can clean up your file system free up some storage change your icon design change the badges color so that little badges that's so cool. You can change the emoji style on your phone. You can also change the boot logo and so much more. And by the way, if you're on the iPhone 10, you can also add a custom and emoji of your face or anyone else's face. So I think that's pretty cool. I can't really do it on this device because, well, here's a catch. This supports iOS 10 through 10.3.3 and iOS 11 through 11.1.2. Unfortunately, it does not support iOS 11.2.1 because that does patch the exploit that this uses, which really sucks because I have an iPhone 10 and I wanted to test out the custom and emojis so badly. I mean, how cool would it be to have like a custom and emoji of her face? Oh my God, that'd be so cool. But anyways, I can't do that because I did. Well, the Apple store updated this phone, crap. All right, but anyways, there are two ways to get this. The first is using City Impact, so you have to download the IPA, use City Impact and put it on your device. And that is a way without advertisements. But if you want to get it without a computer, which is the way I'm going to be showing you guys, but it does put advertisements inside the app, then here's how to do so. Anyways, regardless, all the links will be down below inside the description. So anyways, first go to open up an internet browser and click on the link that'll be down below and it'll bring you right here. Make sure this link does open up inside the Safari app, not YouTube. If it does open up inside YouTube, tap on the Safari icon somewhere. And once here, it'll bring up an advertisement. Let's hit the white X button right there. There we go. All right, so then you want to go to apps. And again, you want to go down to Tweakbox apps and at the very bottom or close, I think. I lied, it's in the middle. So there it is. Houdini B2 Beta 2, so going to tap right there, hit install, and hit install once more. X out of here, and you guys are basically to go on a blank spot, you will see it installing, and it should be pretty quick, done. And this is what happens if you're on a firmware above 11.1.2, it will not work, it'll just crash. So once you hit ignore, anyway, let's go tap on ignore, it just crashes on iOS 11.2.1. So here's the iPhone 7, it's on 11.0, so we'll work on this device. And by the way, if you do want to use Houdini, I do recommend uninstalling or removing TornGat if you do have that. So TornGat, if you have it, I would recommend deleting it, otherwise it might interfere. So anyways, go ahead and open up Houdini and tap on the X, okay? And sometimes this happens ignore okay so the pop-up might appear over there now it says running and we are in so first off you can clean up your device so let's see how much storage i clean up this is my first time using it on this iphone 7 so right now we have 5.32 gigabytes left so let's go ahead and clean up sir some file system so anyways here we go cleaning system pretty simple going back into my device it just resprung and now let's see how much space we have so before we had 5.32 gigabytes now how much do we have so where's the x are oh, we got skip on the bottom right now skip what the heck is rebooting my phone and that's how you know it's a beta and by the way if you do want to know how to cut a custom boot logo of any choice that you want then i'll put a link to my video on how to do that this one does allow you to get custom boot logos but there's only a select few that you can choose from all right so we're back in and now we can actually go back inside so let's see how much space we have and now we have 6.77, 5.32 gigabytes to 6.77. That's like a whole 1.3 gigabytes. That, that's a lot of space. Anyways, you can also respring your device by tapping on the respring button. Let's go over here and there's uh, sources. I'm pretty sure you can add some more in the future. I'm going to look into that. But anyways, let's go to the packages. Now, first of all, screen resolution. Do not mess around with that, guys. Do not even tap into it because many people have messed up their devices with this. So I don't really know why you'd want to do that anyways. Anyways. Let's go down to icon labels. You can hide or rename them. So I think I'm going to go and hide my labels. I don't want any names underneath my icons. Let's hit apply and it will start renaming. And there you go. You do have to respring, but for now, I'm just going to hit dismiss because I do want to do some other stuff before I do that. You can also change the icon badges and you could choose some colors. So in the description, I pull, put this link and it basically needs to do a Google search of the hex color, which is what you need. So you have this little slider, you can go and slide it around. So let's say you want, um, let's do greenish badges. So there we go. And now there's the hex value. So all you do is copy this value. So tap and hold on this and just copy that. And now let's go back to Houdini. And you simply want to tap over here and replace that with the color of your choosing. So just put in that hex value, paste it in and make sure you have the hashtag. Anyways, hit done. 
apply and respring. And so far we made two changes, the badge colors and the removing icon labels. So once we go back in, you guys will notice that we now have green badges. It actually looks pretty cool. I like it more than red. So now we have green badges. This is all without a jailbreak. How cool is that? Okay, there we go. Before I didn't remove my icon labels, so I just went back, did it again, resprung immediately at that screen, and now it did work. So now we don't have any icon labels. That looks pretty epic. And you can also change the icon shapes, as you guys can see, but this is from Torngat. I'll be showing you guys how to do it with this one too. So again, it's very simple. Back over in packages, go ahead and select icon shapes, and it could change it with the slider so it could get even more creative so that's pretty cool you could have exactly how you want it so for example let's say i want a circle perfect circle right there hit apply and we have to reboot for this so i'm gonna hit reboot and we'll reboot my device real quick okay that's odd my device is still on i can still feel this button vibrate and i'm trying to okay i guess i have to force turn it off all right so my device is back on and now we have these circular icons and guys very important I would not recommend hitting that reboot button. Instead, I would recommend rebooting manually. So just hold down on your power button and just slide to power off and turn it back on like that. Because once you hit, when you hit reboot, it just takes more time. I had to actually force reboot my phone. So on the iPhone 7, it's hold on the lock button and volume up button until your screen goes completely black. So keep on holding it down for like 10 seconds, then let go and wait for it to turn back on after hitting the power button, of course. Same thing goes for the iPhone 8, but if you're on the iPhone 6S and below, then just hold down the home button and lock button until your device turns off. So again, that's about 10 seconds. Let go and then turn it back on with the power button. But yeah, guys, only do that if you accidentally hit the reboot button. Otherwise, you can just turn it off normally, and that is a better way. Anyways, guys, back over here, there's so much to do. You can also change the emojis, so you can have, like, the Android-style emojis if you want that. So, again, just tap on it, hit respring. Simple as that. I just want to keep mine as is. I like the iOS emojis. You can also change the boot logo, so you can just tap right here. Choose a boot logo that you want. And again, if you want more options, just choose any image that you want. Shrek, Spongebob, whatever you want, Superman. Then watch my other video. The link will be down below in the description. And it'll show you guys how to get any custom boot logo. And again, do so much more. I am an emoji. So again, this allows you to add your face to an emoji. I can't test it out myself because again, this device is on 11.2.1. <sighs> I really want to do that. That was the most exciting thing. So anyways, enjoy the customization that you get without a jailbreak. It's really pretty awesome that you can do this without a jailbreak. But again, an exploit is still needed, which is why you cannot do it on firmers that are above 11.1.2. Anyways, guys, slap a like button, hit subscribe, and the notification bell to be notified every time I release a new video. And as always, guys, this is the Get Your Dose of THS. And as always, guys, peace out.